We did it. We got justice for Tingyun. <laughs> but this actually marks the final hyper carry video of all the harmony characters. I did Branya, I did Asta, I did Tingyun, and now I've done Yu Call. So I definitely can't wait to try the mono harmony team. There's no sustain in that team, so it's gonna be a little difficult, but I think it'll be fun. And for this one, I was thinking if I should just use a more, you know, relatable team. But honestly, Yukong is so much more fun to look at when you go all out. And she actually, of all the Harmony units, definitely did the best as far as doing personal damage goes. She, especially with her ult, can hit like a truck. And I know a lot of people were expecting that. But yes, you have Luocha, you have Branya, you have Tingyun. But I thought I'd end off the last Harmony unit that we currently have with a banger. So this is what you get. I'm not holding back. You get to see her at pretty much her max potential. I also invested in her traces quite a bit and you'll see that at the end. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. I think it was very fun. And I actually do think it's kind of viable if you do want to play Yukong as a DPS or sub DPS. but. Just know that she's kind of locked in a single target and might have trouble dealing with multi-waves. And I tried this against Memory of Chaos 10 second half like I am right now, but without Luocha, and it was kind of impossible because I couldn't break the Void Rangers. And the Void Rangers just kept stunning me, so I kind of need Luocha because he can break or help break while Yukong's locked in a single target. Only 12% of you are subscribed, so if you are enjoying my videos, I'd appreciate it a lot if you left a like and subscribed. Anyway, I was going to talk about the Qingche Guide. I think you might have seen my community post, but if you haven't, I pretty much have... <laughs> I wrote like an entire essay for that video, and I can't wait to get it out. It might take a few more days, I don't know how long, but... I want to make sure all the right information is there, all the fun probability and statistics are at least the important ones I talk about and yeah I, I have so many tips for Ching Che that I don't want to leave anything out or at least again trying to keep the important ones because otherwise it can be a really long video but I'm really excited to get that out it's something I don't think I've put in as much work into a video as that one so <laughs> definitely stay tuned for it. Look at me talking about Ching Che on a Yukong video I just can't get enough of her somehow i don't know <laughs> and i didn't i always do this i always go off on a tangent i never actually talk about what you're seeing on screen but yeah she is being buffed by all these characters but she's able to do 100k plus alts sometimes and to me that's pretty funny because it's a harmony unit you wouldn't expect them to well yukong is a bit different difference Yukong's a bit different because she's got some pretty high multipliers and she buffs herself at E6, but yeah, it still feels really satisfying to see this. Yanqing, I just realized, does have a bit of an issue. He summons these swords and we do have to focus them down or else we won't be able to survive. And it's a little unfortunate. I get greedy here. I use my alt on Yanqing. It's just too hard to pass up. Why would I use this? Why would I waste it on... Yeah, look at that. 100,000. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Um, but yeah... Lucha, I don't have him on his crit build right now. He's on pure healer, so we get lucky with the alt actually critting there and taking out a couple of the swords. But yeah, Yanqing actually does a surprisingly large amount of damage when you're not really optimizing defense. <laughs> but yeah, aside from the Qingche video, I've got a surprise for you. I don't know if that's going to be coming tomorrow or the day after, but I think it'll be... Pretty surprised. It's going to be a really fun video and I know you'll enjoy it. Okay, let's talk about the actual fight because I don't even... So Tingyun is here not only to provide her attack percent buffs but also her ult. Nah, this is this is not as fun as just talking about something else, I don't think. It, like just narrating a battle doesn't seem... I don't know, let me know what you think. Do you like it when I narrate battles? Or, or my thought process, or do you like when I just go off and talk about something else? Because I don't know. <laughs> I just talk about whatever comes to my mind. And what's on my mind right now is me trying to figure out how to use Arlan. Arlan? Arlan. Arlan. I am building him, and he's actually pretty strong so far. I got his E6 randomly off of the standard, standard banner, and I actually audibly screamed i was like yes let's go <laughs> 
so that made me really hyped to actually get to building him quicker but let me tell you i know a lot of people have been asking how do you have so many resources and i do refresh i do but i still try to optimize right now even with all the refreshing i am at no resources and the reason for that is we need the weekly boss materials and i just don't have any anymore and also the advanced what is it called the it's like the golden ball of talent thing don't quote me <laughs> it's the what's the advanced trace level of material i can't think of it right now tracks of destiny okay that thing I'm completely out of those all the time and I don't have all the boss mats so it's really hard for me to continue pushing out these characters even if I have the trailblaze energy. So I'm trying my- oh I should have used my alt first but I don't think it matters. There you go, 111k. <laughs> 111k? No, no, that is right, okay. Oh man. Wait, is it? Yeah it is. But. Yeah, I, I've been trying to build up all these characters as well. I plan on doing more fun builds. I'm not going to stop until I build every single character and give them their own unique build. But yeah, the limited resource thing won't stop me. I'm not going to stop. I also got the Battle Pass Light Cone uh, for preservation. So you should see an updated video with March 7th and Fire DPS. It's actually pretty good. And... Yeah, this is my Yukong build. She's pretty highly invested and I'm running out of time because the video is going to end. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.